Hey guys, it's VBs and welcome back to another video. Uh, so this is going to be basically showing you guys um, how to tank next. Um, it's going to be kind of a live commentary slash guide type thing because I've, I've obviously been nexting for quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. I learned how to next two weeks ago and I've made about three, 300 to 400 mil from next so far and I've just learned to tank a couple of weeks ago and I believe I'm alright at it. Um, and yeah, I was going to make like a full decked out tank guide and everything but I thought, you know, what's better than... I'm actually doing it myself and showing you guys how I do it and maybe you guys can adapt from that um, rather than telling you guys, you know, kind of what to do. So with my hotbar, I've just got um, four basic abilities on keys 1, 2, 3, 4. The first two are not damage over time, the second two are. Um, in the blood phase, you do, you do not want to use these two, um, the second damage over time or any damage over, over time for that matter, um, because it heals next simply. So my, I've got two friends waiting here, so I've got to get through this quickly. You've got resonance and preparation. Resonance to heal you. Um, and preparation to um, help the recharge timer for resonance, um, if that made any sense. Provoke is to get Nex off you. Um, so you're the tank, you have to make sure inside is on and inside is here. I don't believe it's on. And now it is on. Yep, in in active. So we've got Provoke to make sure it gets on you. Rain, um, range and Mage Prayer here, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> Late, but yeah, YOLO. Um, anticipation for ice phase, freedom for ice phase, barricade for ice phase, and Zara's phase. So let's go. Um, so if I just jump in, my gear setup is as follows. It's got the Pernix, Pernix cowl, Ganodermic top, Ganodermic legs, Glaven boots, barrows, gloves, um, Berserker ring eye, Arcane spirit shield, and cooking cape. You need a cooking cape to get the best of luck here. Um, so yeah, when you uh, make sure you got your quick prayer selected to protect from mage and um, the the turmoil, the torment, that's the one. Um, make sure you hit the quick prayer on. And now at the very beginning, what you want to do is you want to attack next and then kind of spam, spammy provoke. Um, and now as a tank, you make sure you want to keep um, next off of your two attackers at the whole time, like the whole kill, because you're the tank, you have the most defense, and you do not want them going through food or dying, because without your attackers, you will not get the kill. And as you see, I'm poisoned here, so make sure just to get rid of that poison, use the anti-poison. Um, and now, through various amounts, uh, various times throughout the kill, you're going to be using resonance to heal, so you don't have to um, norm through your rock tails. So, to do that, to get the most uh, resonance heal, you make sure you want to take off your prayer, um, and let her hit you, and that was a fail, so use freedom when that happens. Um, now, tanking is probably not the easiest thing to do, I should have brought pre a penance aura, but that's a fail. Um, so as I said, take off your prayer, use resonance, and that was a fail, you do not want to do that, because she does, um, this is, and you will not get a resonance heal, because resonance only lasts for a few seconds, um, and that was a fail. So, since, since this new update, she is a lot you know, a bigger pain in the ass than she used to be because she pulls a lot more like you've just seen and she also um, wrecks you a lot harder. So you now got the shadow phase. At the beginning of the shadow phase, she's gonna she's gonna give you those dark pulls. Um, she's gonna do two dark pulls very, very close to each other, so you have to watch out for that. Um, you know, the best thing to do with that is just not panicking because it's really not that um, not that difficult. Um, so sorry for the kind of being rushed, but I'm trying to explain a lot of stuff in this little amount of time. So also you got rejuvenate, which you know the time I got nerfed but with my setup I can heal about 5k so make sure I want to get under about 5k health before I use it um, so fear the shadow make sure you avoid the pool um, so I'm, I'm almost um, almost under 5k health so I'm just going to use rejuvenate get that uh, recharging and now so now it's going to be um, almost a blood phase so you want to lure next up the southeast or make sure you lure at the south um, now this is a little lure technique that I use so when you're luring next um, click around here so she gets lured right up there so the attackers don't have to run far and then run right over here and now you want to change her into the blood phase because they have killed the minion and I'm going to get hit a lot there we go so I believe she hits quite hard in the uh, in the blood phase so resonance is at your uh, best at your best interest so take off prayer use resonance get your 1k heal and then use preparation straight afterwards um, and make sure you stay out of melee distance, and I just used a damage over time, you do not want to do that, and I lucky I missed. So like I said before I actually entered the entered the room, you do not want to be using the next two, you do not want to be using the next, the second two basic abilities, because they have damage over time, and they do heal her. Um, so she will siphon, just like that, and she will use the Revis's health to, um, to heal. Um, now I've got... 
uh, resonance, so I'm going to heal with that. And this is basically a, kind of a breeze. Make sure your attackers are doing a lot of damage because um, there is a limited amount of time before she heals. But obviously being a three man, I've only got two attackers, so I'm kind of just chilling here for a bit until my attackers get to the next phase. So the next phase is ice phase. Um, now this this is a concern that I had when I was learning to tank. Um, I, I was getting kind of nervous and... Um, you know, I was I just didn't know what the hell to do on Ice Phase because she obviously prisons. Um, and when you're trioing or duoing or whatever, you do not want to stand near your attackers just in case she contains this or you know something happens. So now he's got Kruera. Sorry if I'm going a bit quick, like I said. Um, so next, so we've got the Ice Phase. Now you've got safe spots, which are there's one here, and there is one here, and then there are two a little bit northeast. I'm going to show you guys that right now. But so Ice Phase, as soon as she calls. Now, I don't know, the prison, when she turn, turns into the ice phase, um, you want to look at her attacks, and if she says die in a prison of ice, um, I don't think she did it. Okay, she so she contained this. Usually she says die in a prison of ice. What you want to do there is, you want to use anticipation as soon as she says that. Um, now I've got a lure next over here. So this is another safe spot, and... I'm going to use Anticipation. Now that was a little bit late. You can use it a lot earlier. So that was one of my problems as well. Um, you can actually use Anticipation a lot earlier. So um, as soon as she says contain this, what you want to do is you want to wait maybe one to two attacks and then just hit Anticipation because Anticipation will last long enough um, to break you free of the eye. So now she's being a little whore bag and she's got really, really close to me on contain this. Like I said before, I'm just going to wait for my Anticipation to recharge and use it as soon as I can. Um, so there we go. And I now have Prison of Ice. So make sure you want to get out of there. And I like to double tap my Quick Prayers twice. And it should get you out. Um, it should get your prayers back on. So now you've got Zara's face. You want to make sure you use uh, Barricade as quick as you can. Like that. So she does not hit you. Because she has a tendency to whack you um, like crazy on Zara's face. Because she does hit a lot harder. Um, meaning you can use get some extremely high resonance heals. So with that said... Gonna wait for her attack, use resonance, run away so she mages. Oh, so that was a fail. Now she's gonna wreck me with her mage. Watch this. There we go, that was a bad idea. Because my stupid Yaki was in the way. Also, no prayer, that's never good. So, you know, this is live commentary, so if I screw up, you know, I screw up, that's my bad. Um, but I'm kind of showing you guys basically what to do. Um, so now my resonance is ready again. Wait for her attack, use resonance. Get her to hit. So 2.5k heal. That's about you know two rock tails almost. Um, so that's always that's always awesome. Um, now I'm not sure if I missed anything in this video, but another thing on ice phase, if you happen to be out, if you happen to be out of safe spot when she um, when she imprisons you, you um, you want to use you want to use freedom so you are able to move, and then you want to use barricade. So, with that said, you must have full adrenaline throughout the whole ice phase. I really recommend that if you're learning especially. And I got all of the drops, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah, as I said, um, when, when she imprisons you outside of the safe spots, you want to make sure you use freedom and then barricade so you will, you know, you'll take no damage. Um, but like I said before, oh, actually I didn't say anything before, but so you've got a safe spot. There's one here. Um, so you, can't, you cannot go any more north. And now there's one. There's one here. You cannot go any more east. There's two. Um, so there's one here. Like I said, make sure you're at the light pole, not on the other, on the other end of the table. And there's also one, two, um, two steps south of that. Now don't quote me on this one, but I, I believe there is one in the middle, just in case for some reason you have lured next. You know, ex something something's gone wrong. But I believe there is one either here or here. Um, I'm not too sure on that one. I've never used that one. So um, hopefully if Hopefully if this helped, if I um if you know if I left anything out, I'll make sure to put some annotations on screen. But hope hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you missed my next uh, montage, I made about 275 mil in drops from next in the last couple of weeks. So if you wanna if you wanna check that out, make sure you click the link on the screen. Apart from that, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.